So that's a little example of solo polyphonic style guitar playing, which is really what I do. A little more, a uh, little more interesting than just straight chord melody style, because we have all these these um, lines going on. Now it seems very complicated at first because you've got lots of movement going on, but <clears throat> the thing to do on this tune, we take the chords and just I want you to simplify the chords. So if we start off A minor seventh, D seventh, G major seventh. C major 7th, F sharp minor 7th, B 7th, E 7th. There are chords, but what I want you to do, and I learned this from listening to piano players and working with piano players, is that the left hand, a lot of piano players, they play a 10th. Now a 10th is like you've got the root note and the 10th, the 10th is basically the third of the note, one octave higher. And uh, so you'll, you'll, you'll be familiar with this sound that piano players, like boogie-woogie piano players. That kind of thing. Th that's the tenth sound. So <coughs> rather than thinking a lot about the chord and every note that's in the chord, when you play an A minor, just, just play the minor tenth. With D, D seventh, just play the major tenth. G major 10th, sorry, major 10th, I said 7th, 10th, C, just the 10th. So I'm not playing all of the chord. This is the, all of the chord. I'm only playing the root note and the 10th of each chord. Or, or here. Okay, so that immediately simplifies it down to this little skeleton. <clears throat> we can also add the seventh into the note, whether it's a dominant seventh or a major seventh. That's a, a minor seventh. So I've got the, the root, the do dominant seventh, and the minor tenth. Uh, and I've got the, the So that's a major seventh, C, major seventh there. So you've got that note in there as well, but basic, basically just think of the major and minor tenth. Then you can add that seventh every so often. Um, what happens then is we can start getting that to move. these lines you can actually do it without the root note as well then I can add a little bit of chord melody So there, then I've got a little mixture of the two together. I've got some polyphonic playing and some chord melody playing all mixed in together.